Tsunami Studios. Strange Adventures number five. This issue, I think, really exemplifies everything that is really good about this series. I am really enjoying what this series has to offer, and I think this issue really shows us it's not Mr. Miracle, it's not Batman, this is Tom King doing something that is expected from him, but take it in a completely different direction. So, as with every issue, we kind of break it up into two parts here, and the first part is we are back on Ran, and we are talking to these, what are they, underworlders or offworlders, I can't remember what they called them, but it's this race of people that live on Ran who are like inside the caves and kind of below the surface, and they are trying to... Elena and Adam are trying to kind of like negotiate a way where they can help them fight in the war against the Pict. And they're just like, okay, well, we'll just talk about it. You can talk to our queen, but before that, you have to survive this certain trial we have. And that is, you have to go in this cave for a day, but their day is not a normal day because they don't have the sun. So their day is kind of the length of a month. And you just see Elena and Adam are just kind of like, oh, great. How are we going to do this? And while the issue continues on, we just see their struggles inside this cave for the month, how they're struggling to find water, how they do eventually find it. And suddenly they are relieved by that, the things they have to do to survive, what they have to eat, how they have to just like maintain their sanity. And it's a really cool just angle to see that because I really like this when, you know, Tom King does this and he takes this smaller story that you don't really need in this in this book. Like if you didn't want to have the like the flashbacks, the book would probably still be the same. You could still have the same effect, but he's doing a great job of showing us some of the stuff that Adam actually had to do while he was on Ran. And maybe it's not as horrible as some people think it is. Maybe some of it will be. Some of the stuff we saw, sure, we've seen Adam killing people. It's war. Things have to be done and things happen. So I like seeing that a lot. So while they are in the cave, they are just trying to survive. And it's a very fascinating angle to see. I really enjoyed it a lot. Alana has definitely stepped up as being this character who I think is completely untrustworthy. And she's got some secret ulterior motives going on. So I'm very curious to see how that's going to play into everything happening going forward in this book. But in the present day, there is a picked ship that comes into Gotham City and Batman has to take it down. And they're not really sure what it is. It's like a robot that the Pict sent. Obviously something that could be described as a warning signal. And that's how the world's kind of interpreting it. So suddenly our leads are called into this. I, I'm going to call it like a UN meeting or just something with all these people. Where they're all just kind of having a conversation about... What's going on here and how can we react to this? You got Alana, who's representing Ran, Martian Manhunter, who's representing the Justice League. And let me just say, Mitch can draw the hell out of a Martian Manhunter. I know, I, I think I say this like every week and every time we talk about this book, but Mitch just knows how to draw the, like the universal versions of all these characters and they look fantastic. Arguably some of the best stuff he's done. I, I love it a lot. And then we have a Senator who is kind of like the task, he like runs like the Earth defense system or something like that and then it just becomes this conversation of like what can we do to prevent the picked from showing up here is that what this means and of course martian manhunter gives the diplomatic approach he's like yep obviously we can do this the justice league has fought these threats again we can stop it from entering here we can prevent something like this from happening but it's alana who's like that's all bullshit like honestly there the i've seen what the picked can do i know what this is about we have technology far more advanced than you on ran and I've seen more people die there because of these people than anything you, you humans could hold together. Like, there, you don't know what you're up against. They have killed thousands of my people. My daughter died because of it. You people don't understand what's at stake here. If this is actually the threat that is coming, I think it's something that Alana set up to put Adam in a position of power. That's just me. But we'll have to wait and see what happens there. And it's, it's, actually, it's just pretty interesting stuff. I really, really enjoy it. So then we get a meeting with Alana, who she is talking, I think she's talking with like one of the correspondents or somebody that works for the president. And then they're like, yeah, this is great. We want to set up like a, an earthwide defense system of this kind of like have the superheroes or some of those allies work with us, the Justice League. But we'd like Adam to spearhead the thing and he could be in charge of the, uh, the whole organization, keep it defense. If the picked are coming, we'd like to have Adam in charge. But of course, Alana, you'll be at his side the entire time. So, cool. More shady ulterior motives going on with Alana. I'm very curious to see how that's going to come out. And it's just been, it's just a really fascinating 
portrayal of what I did not expect the book to go in certain routes like this so I really enjoy when it does take the opportunity to go in these really interesting places and we get a press conference where Adams agreed to sign on to the project he's just telling like I love the Justice League they are investigating certain things that happened with me I know eventually we'll get to the truth so I'm not worried about that and it's gonna be great so I'm very excited to work on this project all the while while that's happening Alana is off with Mr. Terrific and they're kind of watching the event and you could see Terrific might be like the one guy who's actually caught on to what's going on with Alana and she knows that he knows something that he's not letting on I love it there's some great political espionage going on here and it's so fascinating to me what we're seeing and I like it too. We cut back to the past where Alana and Adam are able to finally leave the cave. And when they come out, Alana is a different woman. She goes up to these cave people and she's like, look, that's great. We did it. It's done. But I'm going to give you a motive here. You could either join us and help us beat the Pict and save Ran, or we're going to come here and kill you. So figure that shit out before we decide what's going down. And she kind of unites Rand. She's able to unite Rand. One of the cave queen marries one of the pick people. And suddenly Rand is united in this beautiful place. That's weird. But I absolutely enjoy it. I think it's great stuff. Alana is the focal point of this issue. And as you're seeing everything she's doing, you just start to wonder, what is she really trying to say here? What is she really doing? There's a lot with her that I think is scary and intriguing, and I'm thoroughly enjoying what that is about. So I really liked this issue of Strange Adventures. Is it my favorite one of the run so far? I'd say so. I'm going to give Strange Adventures number 5 an 8 out of 10. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.